Barack Obama speaking there this morning. There are also renewed calls this morning for Australia to provide more aid to contain the Ebola outbreak in West Africa. I'm joined now by the President of the Australian Medical Association, Dr Brian Aller. Dr Aller, welcome. This is a significant announcement from the US this morning. What kind of example does that set? Well, it's a very welcome announcement. Uh, the focus has been on protecting our own borders up until this point, but now we actually need to look at this as not only a humanitarian crisis uh, in West Africa, but an issue that is a global issue that will affect the rest of the world. And I think Australia, along with the rest of the world, needs to step up its efforts to make sure that we make a substantial contribution. So what has been the extent of the Australian contribution so far and how, how can that be improved? Well, the contribution from the Australian Government, as I understand, has been about $1 million to date, which is um, uh, really a drop in the ocean compared to what is needed. We know that a number of healthcare workers, doctors and nurses, have been travelling to West Africa to provide assistance, but they need to be supported and there needs to be a much more concerted effort on behalf of Australia to provide support. And I understand uh, that there may be some uh, uh, announcements uh, imminent today. Yeah, so specifically, what would you like to see? In terms of, you say there are Australian medical professionals who've gone over. What kind of support do they need practically? Well, clearly there's the direct support for healthcare workers that can actually provide treatment to those that are affected in West Africa. But I think there's also expertise in, in running the healthcare system and actually making sure that the country is organised and has the support services. And then as uh, Obama's outlined, uh, the troops are actually going in there to provide beds because we know that there are no beds for the patients, particularly in Liberia at the moment, where the outbreak is worse, that uh, enables them to be treated. Are you aware uh, personally of any medical professionals who've gone over there yourself? Uh, yes, there are a number of people from New South Wales, for instance, that have gone over and uh, provided uh, care, and uh, there are people over there at the present time. Yeah. But there are a handful, and what we need to see is a much more concerted effort so that they actually have the proper support. A lot of the support has really been through non-government organisations such as this Medicine, uh, Medicine Sans Frontiers and yeah. Red Cross. But uh, I think the Australian Government can support those organisations but also support the healthcare workers that we know are willing to go and put their own lives mm. at risk to provide yeah. support. And on that point, uh, are you aware of any reticence uh, by medical professionals around the world to go in to help with this Ebola response in West Africa, taking into account that there have been 100 doctors uh, locally, I think, who have died there, and um, oh, sorry, 100 nurses and at least 20 doctors mm. who have died as part of this process. Well, you can understand the reticence of people to go and, and do that, but I think one thing that uh, both medical and nursing professions uh, share is a willingness to put their own lives at risk to provide humanitarian assistance in these sorts of crises. Uh, we need to make sure that they have the proper support and protection and have the contingencies in place should uh, an Australian healthcare worker uh, contract Ebola uh, to enable them to be uh, uh, transported to a place where they can receive uh, the sort of care that they need. And that, that is an issue. Uh, but uh, we know that there are already people that are willing to go and do this sort of work and we need to support them as much as possible. You say um, Australia has already donated a million dollars towards this effort. Um, why Is that commensurate to Australia's population in the global? Why, why should Australia be so concerned about this and be donating more money towards this? Well, it's a humanitarian crisis. I mean, we're talking about uh, 5,000 cases at the moment. The WHO is expecting 20,000 cases, but there is now talk of a quarter of a million cases, which is not out of the question. And I think when you start to talk about an uh, outbreak on that scale, uh, I think the rest of the world needs to step up. Now, we've even seen uh, China and even Cuba um, uh, putting uh, resources into West Africa to try and support them. And I think if we're willing to go uh, to Iraq and, and uh, provide uh, military uh, support there, and, and I'm not, for instance, uh, uh, downplaying the importance of that, but if we're doing something on that scale, then I think we need to do something commensurate on the, uh, on the issue in West Africa. Okay, Brian Allen, thanks for coming in and having a chat to us. Sounds like you've got some uh, insight.